Hello and welcome to the 15th video in my series on getting started with AutoCAD. My name is Chris and in this video we're going to talk about controlling tables with table styles. Please note that I'm using AutoCAD 2015. If you're not using the same version, our versions are going to look different. With that out of the way, let's get started here. Now in my last video we talked about creating tables. And so by this point you should be pretty good at that. Uh, you should have that under your belt. If you don't I would recommend going back to the last video and checking it out. In this video, we're also going to be drawing on another video that I made, uh, which is the, how to make a text style. And if you aren't familiar with that, I would recommend going back to that video as well. So we're going to be building on some additional components that we've already covered. Let's go ahead and start here by inserting a table. We're going to type table, and I'm just going to leave the defaults the way they are and click OK and drop it in. These columns and these rows and the cells and the borders and the text and all of this can, can be controlled by your table style. So let's take a look on and see how that works. Let's start by typing table style. And up comes our, our dialog here. And you'll notice there's a standard table style that comes with AutoCAD. We're going to go ahead and modify that. And let's go ahead and change the background color of things just to see kind of how it works. So let's start with the title, this top row. And let's set that to be cyan. There we go. We go ahead and click OK, go ahead and click close, and you'll notice in it comes this awful cyan color. Let's do this again here really quick. Let's modify that again. Let's change that to the header and say we want the fill color on this to be green. Go ahead and click OK, go ahead and click close, and you'll notice in it comes green. Now you can do all of this. Um, cell by cell or row by row in the properties, right? But the nice thing about setting up table style is that it will automatically handle all of this customization configuration for you, given that you set it up correctly. So, at this point you should be pretty pretty familiar with how to, how to change the background color. That's pretty straightforward stuff. Let's go ahead and insert another table here, just so you can see that when you pull a new table in, it pulls in the style that you've you've uh, configured already. So let's go ahead and type table. And let's insert a new table. You'll see it comes in and it comes in exactly the way that our style is dictated. Let's go ahead and make some more modifications to this. We're going to type table again to insert a new table. And I want you to notice up at the top here you have the option to select what table style you'd like to use. Now we haven't created any additional table styles. We just have the, the standard one here. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a new table style that prints at quarter inch scale really nicely. So let's go ahead and click the um, this button here to create a new table style. We're going to take this one and we're going to make a new one and it's going to be based off of our standard. We're going to call it quarter inch. And here we are inside the table styles dialog. Now, we have all sorts of different options, things that we can do inside of here. Um, again, you'll notice that we have different cell styles. You, we can add additional cell styles. So if you have cell data that you'd like to be formatted differently, you can configure that all in here. Um, we can manage our cell styles, all that jazz. But we're going to work with the default cell styles that we have in here. And we're going to start with the title. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to change the size of the text that's going to be coming through in our, uh, pardon me, in our drawings. Because at quarter inch, the default text style is extraordinarily small. So let's go ahead and make a new text style here for the title. We're going to start with a standard text style. We're going to go new here. We're going to call it table title. And we're going to say this is this will be eight inches high. And let's have it be, I don't know, what's a nice font? What's Geisha? Sure, that works. So it would be Geisha Bold. So now we have table title selected as our um, as our text style for the title. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for the header and for the data. You'll notice again it comes with the standard text style. 
So let's go ahead and make one here. Let's make a new one based off of table, table title. Let's go ahead and make a new one here. It's going to be called table header. We want this to be geisha, but we want it to be regular. We only want it to be six inches tall. Let's go ahead and close it. And then let's go ahead and do the same thing for our data here. So our data is going to have a new text style as well. It's going to be called table data. And the text style on this is only going to be four inches tall. And we're going to be using Geisha regular on it. So let's go ahead and click OK and close and OK. Let's modify that really quick and just make sure that everything is coming through. Title is pulling table data. So let's go ahead and make sure that's table title. Go to data. Make sure that's table data. There we go. So now let's go ahead and close that. When we when we go to insert this table, we're going to click OK. It's going to be absolutely enormous. And the other thing you'll notice is that it's really skinny. Um, this can be modified by clicking on this handle right here and pulling it all out. You'll notice the text is a lot bigger than it was in, in previous tables that we've done. And again, this is because we've created different text styles to control tables. So let's go ahead and say this is our title here. This is header, header, one, two, three. Let's grab that and make a pattern out of it. And type data. Pull that down. There we go. Now you can do all sorts of different stuff with this. Again, let's say that we, for instance, if you wanted this this column to be um, numeric and dollar values, you could make a new a new cell type and have that be the the inf instructions for the cell type on how how to control the the text inside of it. So. In a nutshell, that's table styles. Before we finish up here, let's talk about changing table styles. This is done by selecting the table, going over to properties on the side here, and under table, changing the table style. Any table style you have in your drawing can be selected to do this. And again, you can change the all the information parameters of, of how the table is functioning in here as well. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. If you thought this video was good, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you thought this video was great, go ahead and subscribe and I'll bring you more of them. And I will see you in the next video.